Hello everybody and welcome to the second uh, training session about advanced post-processing. Uh, of course, I'm talking about open foment and Blender in uh, my particular case. And what we have to do previously is we have to get some numerical results, which we already have here. It's not converged, but it does not matter. So what we do first, we have to build our scene, which we want to... Um, yeah, change and blender or make it more advanced. So what we we have here is like there is an inlet, a cold cold air coming in, right? Yeah. So here is a cold air coming in. You have the temperature, uh, and here is an outlet. Um, I think it's like this. Yeah. So what we see here is uh, the cold air streaming inside this uh, domain and we have some outlet uh, somewhere so and now we want to build something so let's imagine so what i want to do is hmm, actually it's up to you how you how you uh, go on so the only thing is you have to build your um, your scene as you would like to have it. So inside out. So I can also also use this one, right? So this would more be like the temperature. So let's make it like this. Uh, in addition, hmm, what could we do? We apply here all patches. And then we. Oh, now I have a nice idea. Now I have a very fucking nice idea. So, what we do is. I don't have it here. Extract block. So, this would be my solid. Something like this. Uh, okay, maybe uh, we will add here a bit more. So, okay, and uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, what will we do? We will add some streamlines. Sure, sure, let's add some streamlines. Now it's getting very full, right? Uh, Okay, it's, it's okay. I just want to have 20 of them. So something like that. And then we make some tube filter. Um, one millimeter. Let's make it two millimeters. So, okay, so this would be the scene I am interested in now. And for our, we will take the temperature here. Um, yeah, so far so good. And so you build your scene here. The rotation doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that you have all your details here you want to have. Okay, the next step is you just simply extract export the scene as a x3d file you name it as you would like to do it and the next step is that you will um, open blender and for blender i will use my nice key uh, visualizer and so first we remove everything here and then we import our x3d file and then where we go open foam so where was it it was open comfort tutorials the room guy so here we we are so we load our scene you see it's already 114 a megabyte 
so it takes a short moment to load everything and of course this uh, depends on how you build your scene or how many details your scene have has sorry so okay this this um, will take a, a while so actually you can do whatever you like and uh, it you don't have to activate here for example this uh, opacity because in blender we can do everything so actually you just have to have the objects uh, right there so and then in blender something like this appears so what what we get the first thing is you see here the camera and if you click the zero um, from the numpad block you will go to this view and this view is the same view than this one right and other things you you can see uh, um, are this these lines here right and you can see everything also in our object tree guy here so actually here we have our viewpoint which is the camera then we have these lines which are lights and then we have our yeah so this was our, our outside our housing so then here are streamlines and our temperature normally what i do is i uh, remove the lights and the camera but right now i will just keep it as it is and when you press f12 you are rendering your domain so you see nice rendered nothing special looks similar to this one right where is it so not too much special things here but now i want to go on so what can we do now first thing is i always remove these lights and if you remove the lights and you are rendering again um, unfortunately I took a too big um, let's say demonstration case so if you remove all the lights you don't have anything right so um the next thing is of course you can now move the camera to any arbitrary position but we will keep it of course you can also select everything you can rotate everything by 90 degree to have things nicer you can move everything to the center but this is up to you so okay now our camera perspective um we don't have any light so what we do is we will add some new light and for example this is one powerful thing here blender offers us more sources so for example we add some spot of course um based on the fact that i'm i'm not using blender too often so i'm <laughs> um i'm not good in uh, yeah how you say moving objects so i think there is a much better way and if you now render it again you will get a new um a new idea and the, the nice thing is now what a blender offers you you see it's like really um here the, the light is coming from the front um inside maybe only here we will have some shadows and let's just put our camera so definitely um this motion which i am doing here is uh, terrible but um right at, right now i am too lazy to check to check the uh let's say come on 
check the, the World Wide Web for the correct usage. So what we do is I will put the, the camera now inside and render again. And let's see what we get. So we get like the inside and you can see here, these are enlightened and here from, from the spot we applied uh, here outside. So if, if we will move it, no, 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 we will move it downwards. Now we will check it if we have more brightness inside and as you can see, we have it here, so you can directly see that here we have our uh, yeah the light which is falling inside. We have these shadows, so very nice. Um, of course, uh, we could do other things. Um, let's add a new a lamp, um, a point source, and again yeah move it inside and now it's inside and pressing n we have like new options and also here if we uh, point or select our objects we have here these powerful tool settings so then we go to object and now we should be able to manipulate um the light itself if i'm so you see i'm not too fam familiar with that so normally i'm i'm searching and now using google to check out how to set up the light correctly so i am in the correct one so now I need to go to the object data and first we will render it again. So we put now this um, point source inside and now we should enlighten everything even more. Yeah. Um, which is very nice. So yeah, I I definitely should check out how how to move um, objects easily in in in, in Blender because this is not a real option so but as i already said this is not um what i wanted to to show you it's more about how you how you um start using blender and as i pointed out in the first tutorial um this is not a, a blender tutorial so it will not show you how you have to do different things um in Blender, uh, there are a lot of videos out. However, you see, um, this looks nice already. And now we can make like this the sun different color. We can reduce the energy, uh, the distance. So there are a lot of things you can play around. Uh, let's let's look how this is now so now you have like the influence of the spot from outside here onto and the the point light we have here which has a very low uh, energy yeah is will enlighten it somehow if for any reason if you press f12 and you're rendering we don't have any colors here then you have to check your object so let first um 
if you want to see the colors here in your object mode, you select the object which was exported from Paraview with colors. And then you press N to get this um, this menu, and then you go to textured solid, yeah, in this shading, and then you will get the colors from from the export. Okay. If for any reason the the uh, the rendering is black and white, you have to go to materials. So you select the, the guy again, you go to materials and you have under options vertex color. So if it for any reason uh, looks like this one, come on. So now you see um, the streamlines are colored, yeah, right? And the rest is not colored. This yellow here comes from the, the light we applied. So from this one, we would make it more blue. Um, we should get now a blue um, guy. However, here you can um, rendering, you can change everything. So you see it's getting blue. And if we apply again our material, so vertex shedding, was it the correct one? No, this one. Then you can uh, app select or deselect the colors for your rendering. And uh, now we should have, um, yeah, now you have the colors here again, which are in interaction with uh, the, the spot or the, the light source we have here. So, and so you can build your scene and modify it in Blender. Of course, you can then turn around with your camera. So a very nice thing would be to, to have like the camera position outside here. And you see this light and then you go inside and yeah. So you have a lot of options and what you can do in addition, which is very nice is for example, you can, you can smooth now everything, right? So for example, we have this, we don't need, we don't need, we don't need. And also the streamlines, no, we don't need. Um, yeah, so let's see. So this is our, let's say, accuracy we export from Paraview. Now you can just select your object on the right hand side and say, okay, smooth it. And voila, you see how it's much nicer than um, previously, right? And if you would, so just let's um, so all these guys. So this would be the, or, the original, would be like this. And now we smooth it, it's like this. So it's much better, right? However, the colors will not get better. And that's why I normally use something like this. And then I add some additional material color, right? So if this would be water, I would maybe check out some special color for water, which will yeah, reflect or approximate the water color. So now you can go on um, much more. Of course, you can go into edit mode. You can first uh, remove doubles. If there are doubles, then you can subdivide and smooth everything. Uh, then you can smooth the vertex again. And yeah, you can make your stuff even smoother. And of course, you will uh, somehow manipulate your numerical data. But for a visualization, it's very nice. And yeah, so if we apply also the, um, the streamlines here, and where is our 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 spot so our spot we will put it here and we will rotate it 
like this. And now we will render it again. Uh, we should get now some nice shadows here. And this is like the power of uh, Blender. So you can play around. Of course, this is not really accurate, but there are a lot of options how you can really make advanced post-processing. And that's all for now. You see, the pictures are completely different uh, compared to what we have here, right? Um, even with simple Blender knowledge, uh, you can achieve something like this. And it, it, it really does make fun. So Blender is a real nice tool and um, I apologize if some uh, more experienced Blender guy is looking and watching this uh, tutorial. Um, yeah, he will really see that I, I am not a uh, professional or even I'm just a beginner in Blender. But I just wanted to make you aware how things are working. And on YouTube, there are a lot of videos uh, which are describing how you, th how you do things. Uh, at the end, I just wanted to tell you that Blender has uh, more options. So we have here, or let's say more modes. So we are using Blender Render right now. However, the um, videos I showed you in the first screencast, um, they are using this cyclic, cyclist render mode. And you have um, a lot of more options here. I don't know if a lot of more, but you have different options here. And for example, um, if you have, uh, let's say, any kind of, of object, and then you can use some nodes. And in these nodes, you can use some yeah, filter or whatever it is. And if you then render your stuff, it looks completely different. And uh, here you can then apply um, different filters. You can combine them. You can give your, your water some nice glossy effect, some transparency, some reflection and all these things. And, and you see already that um, these streamlines, they get much nicer here, the shadowing, right? And yeah, and that's a very, very nice um, uh, uh, mode. I, I like it very much. So if we go back and we go back to Blender Render and we render it again. We will just compare it just for the analogy. So you see here, these streamlines, they are really not well rendered. I think there are options to, to make them smoother, but compared to the cyclic rendering, um, yeah, so you directly see it's, it's way much beautiful. Um, and that's why I love it so much, uh, in general Blender. And yeah, this was the first um, video, which I wanted to introduce you about the coupling between Paraview and the Blender itself, how we build our scene, how to export it, import it, how some different options we have. And yeah, so enjoy and have fun and if for any reason or no if you you are doing any kind of post-processing with um let's say blender and please make a comment uh, share it i'm always interested in in new things and i love blender rendering for open foam data however Please don't uh, use um, the Blender engine because Blender itself has an engine which can make simulations too. So use really a numerical uh, simulation data for your rendering. And yeah, I would be happy to get some feedback. Please subscribe. Um, 
not only in YouTube, um, also on Twitter. Go to my web page and subscribe to the newsletter if you want and share the work I do if you would like it to do it. And if you think it's worth to, to share it. Um, I say thank you to everybody and bye-bye.